While the city of Charlotte on the hook for millions of dollars of necessary repairs on every single light rail train that we have. It comes after a minor train derailment that happened nearly a year ago. City Council just learned about it last night, though. You can see in this picture cats shared from May of 2022 exactly what happened. One of the wheels uh, jumped over the track. The axle seized, we're told. Luckily, no one was hurt, but the faulty equipment that caused it is an issue on all 40 plus trains the city operates. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live at the New Bern station in South End. Chloe, what does this mean for the city moving forward here? Hey, Colin, well, the repairs are an unexpected cost. The interim CEO of CAT says it could cost around $24 million to fix the entire fleet. And there are still a lot of questions about why it took so long for this information to be made public. The blue line is moving 20 miles per hour slower than usual, a precaution to keep this from happening again. In May 2022, the wheels of a light rail train hopped over the tracks after a bearing failure. That is a derailment, right? The car did not, uh, was fine. All uh, customers um, were escorted off of the vehicle. Um, everything was okay. No one was injured. <laughs> But the issue with the bearing is on every train. Fixing the fleet comes with a hefty price tag and falls on the city because the bearings are out of warranty. City Council member Tarek Bakari says they'll have to rethink the budget. So we may need to go back and look, take a hard look at some things that we said we wanted to do that were a little more nice to have than the must have of safety amongst our infrastructure. He and other city council members first learned about the derailment on Monday night, two weeks after Katz interim CEO Brent Cagle was told about it. On one side of the coin, I have deep, deep concerns about how we got here. On the other side, I'm, I'm not that surprised because this has been a story a long time in the making. We had uh, a, a real big leadership issue in Katz that we're now just trying to recover from. The COO of CATS was put on administrative leave last week, but CATS officials would not say if it was connected to this. Those repairs in the meantime, they could take until summer of 2025 to be completed. Live in South End, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Chloe, some big information coming out of those meetings. Appreciate you following up on that.